And we're live. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since I've uh, done anything. Since I haven't really posted anything to my channel, I figured I'd give you to a little thinking practice today. And uh, just for about an hour or so. Just because I've missed kind of streaming. I know uh probably other people are on this morning so if people join awesome if uh, people don't awesome as well just wanted to put a little content I've been so busy um shilling and putting in content for everybody else I've been neglecting my channel but uh so what did what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna download some Jim, Jim Lee pencils and uh just gonna practice ink, digital inking, and see what happens. You know, just just to have a little content because I haven't had content on here for a long, for a long, long minute. And I, you know, practicing digital ink is another good way to get your art up to speed. So hopefully that can get me going a little bit, help help improve my skills a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. It's uh, usually not the the Josh and Jimmy stream that everybody's used to, where there's a lot of back and forth and banter and whatnot. So I'm just gonna talk for a while. And uh, for those of you that joined, thank you for joining. Uh, welcome and good morning. I hope everybody's having a great day. And let me see if. Anybody's chatting? Let me see if it's transferring over to OBS because I don't see anything happening. Nope, chat is good. Chat is quiet. The chat is quiet. So, like I said, this is not my original art. I just downloaded some pencils from Jim Lee off the webs, just so I could practice some digital inking and get see if I can get my dexterity up. It's a suggestion by Todd, and uh, so let's see what happens. And already we have an issues. Where is my mouse? What's going on with this? So let's delete that layer. Let's add a new layer. Let's make that the active layer. Yeah, nothing. Cause it means nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Don't do that on that one. This one is not picking up the pencils. Uh oh, I know what happened. Boom, all right. There we go. We're cooking with Crisco. All right, how's everybody doing? Hopefully, everybody. Everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday morning. For those of you that are not working, congratulations. As far as uh, me, I'm sort of.
Anybody got plans for this weekend? Anybody uh, got anything particular they're going to do? Anybody have anything they're working on today? <laughs> What's up, Mutt Man? How you doing today, brother? You at work or you home? Oh, John Diller's live. Let's see what else is going on. Well, you have to uh, live up to the challenge, right? I mean, that's not the only pencils I have. Let's see. Uh, um, ch -ch 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 -ch. And ch -ch -ch. Well, how do I minimize this particular one? Mm -hmm. Let me see. File. Close. Don't save. I got these that I was working on earlier. <laughs> it's working on uh some old Jack Kirby stuff. Uh I should bring my mouse over here because this is not. It always working. Yeah, I was doing a, a I started with some Jack Kirby um, art. Thought it was pretty cool. And then I said, well, let me try some Jin Lee stuff. I'm just basically practicing on inks. <laughs> I just, uh, I guess this is uh, Nick Fury. It's a definitely a uh, adaptation I haven't seen, so it is what it is. You know, I'm just like I said, I'm just chilling, I'm trying to, uh, trying to get some work in because I haven't put anything, anything on my channel for a while. I've just been chilling and. You know, jumping on other people's streams, and then I realized I haven't put any content out. So I was like, well, you know, how am I supposed to grow if I'm never putting content out? Sounds kind of selfish. I know. I know. It is. You know, it, it's something to do just to get a little practice in, work on your uh, strokes and whatnot. Like I said, I haven't posted anything on my channel for in ages. I'm not feeling like I'm neglecting my channel. I mean, I know everybody that I, Josh and I and John and all them, they're all pretty much the same people that, that follow us. So they get to see and whatnot. <laughs> But, you know, you got to put some stuff on your own. You got to you gotta dedicate a little bit of time to yourself, too. Just a little bit of time. And since I get to work from home today, I'm monitoring my emails on one computer <laughs> and uh, drawing on the other one. You know, speaking of which, how's your book going, Mutt Man? Oh, yeah. I saw some of those online today, some Thor pencils and whatnot. I thought they looked pretty cool. Oops. There goes my other computer saying I need to keep it alive. I'll be right back. Yeah, the only bad thing about this right here is I'm all over <coughs> I'm all over the place.
Yeah, just, you know, I figured if I was going to be inking, I wanted to give some, you know, some interesting to people to view. You know, I didn't want to just pick anything. I don't know what Jack Kirby did with these hands right here. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But, man, the man is a legend. Who am I? What's up, babe? How you doing? Good morning. Thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah, I'm just practicing inking over some uh, Jack Kirby pencils. <clears throat> just because I haven't put anything in my channel. I haven't done anything on my channel in a while. And, um... Uh, which means I really haven't been drawing. So I figured I listen to Todd for a change. Even though I always give him a hard time of being a grumpy old man. And just practice some of my uh, practice inking a little bit. Get my strokes in. Get my dexterity. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn something. I mean, this is a Jack Kirby pencil. So there's a lot to learn, I guess. <clears throat> that's nice my man shoot you moving right along with the project that's awesome dude already inking page four huh uh who's color i forgot are you coloring it or are you having a colorist do it <laughs> and are you inking it live on stream or is that a spoiler page you can't put out there also I did not start a Google Hangouts for this stream so uh, I can't invite anybody but you have three candidates that's awesome dude yeah I didn't I didn't do a Google Hangout so I could join uh, John Diller's Google Hangouts, and that'll be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, man, people will love that if you could do it. If it's not a spoiler page, Mutt Man, and you could ink live, I think people would dig it, man, especially the uh, the people that are back in the book. I think they love to see some progress on, you know, how you're doing, how it's going and whatnot. I mean, it's my opinion. I could be wrong. You know. But, you know, it's always a possibility. You never know. I'm not going to be streaming long, though, for this morning. I just like I said, I wanted to practice some inks. And, uh. Put a little content out. I haven't had anything on my channel for a while. Other than video games. And you know. That's not what this channel started out. It just kind of started out as me. Trying to do art as a hobby. You know just. You know whether it was good, bad, or indifferent. That people look at it. And you know maybe laugh. Or uh, point out. Or you know just. Let the internet be the internet. That's that's kind of that's part of the deal with this stuff, you know. You uh, come on and you kind of put it out there, and you hope for the best, you know. You hope for the best. <laughs> you know. Of course, I am no Jack Kirby by any means, or stretch of the imagination. I am just borrowing his talent today and laying my interpretations of what I would think would have been inks for it. I take no credit for anything on this page as we speak. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. A lot of interesting things for those of you that like boxing. Deontay Wilder is asking for the immediate rematch. 
against Tyson Fury. Still doesn't know how the heck Tyson Fury got up from that knockout punch. I don't know how he got up. Oh, that's a, that's a very good question, Mutt Man. I am running um, a gaming laptop. It's a uh, Asus gaming laptop. I'm running a Huey on Canvas Pro GT221. And Clip Studio Paint EX. Good morning, Dragon. How you doing? Oh, mine is the X. The Clip Studio is the X version. Dragon is asking Muttman what work, what book he's working on. Uh, Muttman's book is Hero. H I R O. Blood of Patriots. Oh, man, Dragon, I'm asthmatic, and I feel your pain. When it gets cold, all I do is cough. I'm surprised right now that I haven't coughed up along uh, on the stream. I was just saying that I didn't, since I was streaming by myself, I didn't start a Google Hangout, so I really can't invite anybody. I just didn't think anybody was going to pop up, and I just wanted to put a little bit of uh, content on my channel since I haven't done anything for those of you that just joined in. Uh, I am just... Uh, Taking some of Todd's advice, Todd Mulrooney, a.k.a. Ignition, tuned in, getting tuned in or whatever. Yeah, he, he said I should start doing some more inks over other pencils. So I just grabbed a Jack Kirby uh, layout and uh, just practicing inks. Uh, this is nothing. None of this is mine. None of the talent is mine. I'm just putting my ink interpretation on it. Yeah, Dragon, <laughs> it's tough, right? Because... Uh, you know, you want to support as many people as possible, and and I do. I I try to support as many people as possible. Try to be on their channels, and and uh, sometimes I'm on I'm on their streams, and sometimes not. But when you're doing all that, you know, you you kind of neglect yourself a little bit, and and it's good. It's good to help as many people as you can out. It's good to support as many people as you can. There's nothing wrong with that, but you also have to take a little bit of time out. If you have a channel and you have 100, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of subs. I have 100 subs. But sometimes, you know, you feel like you're letting down the subs if you're not putting out any content. Now, whether they like it or not or, you know, whatever, that's that's a whole different ball of wax, right? But uh, at least uh, put something out here and there just, just you know, just to kind of, you know, give them something else to look at. Now, you know, I might jump on John's stream in a minute, and uh, but I won't be drawing there. I'll just be there just to, uh, you know, just to uh, help read comments and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Man, Dragon, that's awesome, man. 100, getting to 100 was difficult for me, man, you know. How many who care? What do you do? <laughs> you lost seven following, and yeah, John uh, Dillard. John is on, and uh, John Dillard Gaming the System is his channel. If you want to check him out, I think he's on right now. Not John De La Rose, but John John Dillard. I go to his stream too. I never participate in it, but I'm there. Man, Abe, that's awesome. You know. I, we definitely, I see some of your artwork on, on the Twitters. And uh, it's pretty good, man. We got to, one of these days, coordinate so you can join Josh and I. Yeah, it takes a while, man. Uh, now, I see Mutt, man, his sub count is going up pretty quick. And uh, Chester's sub count went up really good. Really quick, uh, after that whole Japan Comic Con thing, Tokyo uh, Comic Con, seems like he gained a, a whole bunch of new followers off of that. That was a, that was a real smart move on his part to live stream that. Really smart move, and he's got a nice channel. He's got some good stuff going on. You can't get mad at that fan speak and whatnot.
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know if people are expecting videos from me either. I think they really tune in most of the time when I'm with Josh just for my commentary. Um, you know, and to see what's going on. And that's mostly what I do. When Josh concentrates, uh, Josh Chris Arts concentrates on drawing. I kind of uh, keep the chat going and, you know, kind of a MC. Man, you know what? I need to follow that guy. And <laughs> I honestly forgot his channel. He's really cool, man. He um, he hit me up once and I was like, oh, man, I got to follow him. And I thought I did. I thought I did. But when I went to look for him to see if I, what he was streaming, I couldn't find him. So I guess I didn't. And now I feel bad because he's he's uh he's so cool, you know. He was like, yo, man, I like what you're doing. And, uh, you know, maybe we should do a stream together. And I was like, I'm always down to collaborate. So I was like, yeah, man, let's do that. And now, apparently, I didn't. So I feel bad because I feel like I, I gave him my word. And, uh, and I kind of failed. You know, yeah, that's the thing, right? You're supposed to be able to thin to thick on the same one, and for some, and that's why I'm practicing, I guess, is so I could get that, you know, get that, uh, get used to getting that those things going. That's that that has been the main complaint about my inks. But yeah, so that's a great, 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 great observation. Yeah, I'm gonna check him out on Twitter, and then I'm sure he'll he'll post he'll post something on uh, on there about his channel. Yeah, and that's why I'm practicing this because you're supposed to be able to lightly, like I said, do a light line and a heavy line off of the same, you know. But sometimes it just doesn't work out for me. I am a heavy-handed guy, though. So I think that's one of the reasons why it happens like that. I could just keep passing the pan over the same area like I would. Pusa Studios. Definitely going to have to check them out. Definitely. So Josh says he's going to start doing polls to see what people want him to draw. I think he's running out of ideas on what to draw for his YouTube channel. I think maybe to boost the sub count up too. If y'all want to go to his channel. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if I, if I can adjust it to the thick part. Should get much thicker. Here's the question, though. You understand what the thickness helps represent, right? Yeah, I used to be a draftsman, so I know what the thickness represents. Thickness represents things that are closer to you. Thinness represents things that are further away from you. Unless there's a comic book version of it that I have no earthly idea, what then I don't know what it means. Uh, oh, you're saying that Josh could draw your comic?
And maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I let Josh know, man, about uh, about the comic thing. You know, I got my wife over there shiting at me right now. All right, Dave, thanks for joining, man. Have a good day at work. Uh, you never know. I don't know if, if Josh really wants to start drawing comics just yet, though. I think he just kind of likes what he does. You can always talk with him, see what he says. As a matter of fact, I think I had once told you about him a, a while back when you was going through this whole I can't find an artist thing. See how long have I been going for? 27 minutes. I guess I need to read about inking so I can get more a better understanding of it. I just kind of start doing stuff. <laughs> I hear you, bud. I hear you. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear, but it's tough, man. Breaking into the business is not easy. If I could draw, I'd help you out. But I can't draw, so I can't help you out. If I could draw way better anyway. Well, thanks, bud. I appreciate that. And of course, I'm not really using all the tools to the best of their abilities. I'm just kind of practicing it. Like if I was using a, a marker and whatnot, so I don't know how beneficial that is. <laughs> wow yeah you're right 
it's really it's really tough when when there's no uh no compensation up front people get leery nobody wants to work for free especially as long as it takes to draw a panel or you know a page i didn't realize how long it took till i started trying to draw one myself and i was and and i'm not even you know close to being as proficient as some people so uh, what it takes me you know it definitely take other people half the time you know it does take a while and then of course there's the whole you know oh I don't like that part change this you know there's that whole back and forth that goes on so it's a, it's a tough thing man there's a lot of time to spend on something All right, awesome, dude. Hopefully it works out, man. Hopefully it works out, man. I'm rooting. I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Well, there's some people that actually take pride in their work, too, so they're not going to turn in junk. And then when you got a guy like me who's not super skilled, that's why I'm practicing this. Any everything takes forever. The one thing I like about digitals is that I'm left-handed, so I'm not worried about running over my ink <laughs> like I would if I was doing it traditional. That always, that always kind of sucked a little bit. Oh, nice! So you're gonna have Artie Bear look at it after after you've done some things on it to see what what they say, like a portfolio review. Does Artie Bear charge for that, or is that, you know, because I know some people, like Jim Neal, I think uh, it, he charges like $20 or something like that to critique your portfolio. If you're a sub, if you're like one of his uh, subs in, on Twitch. Uh, maybe well you I think well inking is not for everybody. I don't think it's for me either to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think it's for me either to be honest with you. But the thing about having a tablet is you can practice it and uh you don't mess anything up. I mean, your pride might get hurt a little bit. That's about it. Yeah, it's all right, man. You know, it can't hurt none to get a, a pro to look at it and critique it. And I like Art, though. Artie Bear, he's pretty cool. Like, he's not he's not mean about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people can be pretty, pretty painful when they critique. And then, you know, that's, that's not really, some people don't listen then once, once the critique gets a little too painful, then they kind of shut everything else out. And then you kind of miss out on the learning opportunity.
But, you know, hopefully things will work out, man. Just keep at it. Just keep at it. And, you know, keep going at it, and you uh, hopefully things will work out for you, and that'll be awesome, man. Then we can be all be reading the Dragon comic. And everything will be as it should be. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a win win then I guess, right? Art needs help. Uh, if art wants material for a show, you get a free critique or review. I think that's a win win. Uh, definitely a big win. Definitely. I like it when everybody wins, if that's even possible. <laughs> What's up, Ray? Ray Escarcega is in the house. I'm over here just practicing digital inking over some Jack Kirby pencils. Nothing great, nothing new. Just, you know, trying to put a little content on the channel since I haven't been able to post anything lately. How's your, how's your Cuzo, uh, Juan Dillard? I know he's on right now. I see the lag is always real between the chat and the and the live stream. Oh well, shoot. I mean, then that's just a matter of hopefully getting him in front of somebody somebody's eyes to validate him, and he should be good to go. <laughs> Ray says, yeah, but I'm jumping back and forth. Cool, Ray, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, I won't be on for much longer. I just want, like I said, want to do a quick video, put a little content out since I haven't really put anything out. I've been pretty much on everybody else's channels. Helping, uh, helping the community out as best as I can. <laughs> But it hasn't seemed to be helping me any. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of liking it. It's not the best ink job in the world, but I see some promise. I see a little bit of promise here and there. Yeah, <clears throat> I do, Ray, I do. I need to start drawing so I can continue to improve, man. You know, maybe one day I'll I'll be up to the level and your and your kuzo will be like, you know what? We should draw on our channel one day. I doubt it though, but just talking trash right now. <laughs> but uh I was listening to Todd because Todd told me I should practice uh inking over, you know, pencils like uh, other pros pencils. So I can, I don't know what I'm spo is supposed to teach me, honestly. He approaches the inker and shows only a few of his inks with his pencils. Eek. I don't know about that one. Hmm. 
Like I said, though, you can get a digital. I got to do it digitally. What does it hurt? I mean, because at the end of the day, all you do is. <laughs> and it's gone. You know? Yeah, Ray. I guess you're right. It's learning how to be a tracer. Or maybe they're just looking for inkers so they can so they can have someone ink the work that they draw. And they figured if he can get as many people practicing inks, which that would be cool. I mean, shoot. I wouldn't mind, you know, prac doing some inks on some people's works if I got ever got to that point where I was good enough to do it. I don't necessarily have to draw. You know? It would be fun. And, of course, I do it all digitally. <laughs> because, like I said, it's so much easier. It's way easier. I mean, it's way easier to stream when you're not the one drawing. Uh, he has two major flaws. One I can catch and fix. The other I have to catch and tell him to redraw it. <laughs> to all redraw it with advice. I thought you asked me for advice. I was like, Buh? no, sir. <laughs> yeah, Rick. You're right, buddy. It would be pretty cool. <laughs> but who am I? Like I said, who am I? Who am I? I'm just a regular old Rican, just trying to practice on his craft. That's all. Let me see what time. Is it 10 o'clock? All right. I don't think I've been... I want to stream... Okay, for 43 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I can only do a, a quick one. I'm about to roll out. I appreciate y'all for joining. I'm sorry I couldn't complete it. I'll do another stream with the inks. Maybe I'll finish inking this part. Y'all can tell me if you like it or don't like it later on. And I uh, appreciate y'all for joining it. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick something. Since I haven't posted any. Uh... <laughs> yeah, since I haven't posted anything in a while. Appreciate y'all for joining me in this wonderful morning. Appreciate, like I said, y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs>